Today we will discuss about the implementation of information technology in postgraduate education and learning. We have to discuss many things like uh, the utility of homeopathisomeo in clinic, UG and PG studies, radar opus in clinical practice and learning, uti utility of complete dynamics in clinical practice, the vision software in clinical practice, application of technology in teaching, PG seminar and clinical training, application of technology in single doctor clinic, hospitals and chain clinics, scope of video lectures and e-learning courses in homeopathy, how to conduct an online course, methods of web-based learning, concept of virtual classroom, how to establish a high-end discussion forum in homeopathy for the students and professionals, utility of mobile apps in teaching, learning and clinical practice, application of technology in competitive exam platform, how to conduct a free and paid international webinar in homeopathy, integrating the concept of, integrating the concept of uh, Khan's Academy and Baidu's app in homeopathy teaching, how to create and search engine optimization of a website for doctors, implementation of online consultation in homeopathy practice, that means a digital platform, how to promote your clinic or hospital for getting more clients, the artificial intelligence in homeopathy and healthcare, ICT, the information communication technology in homeopathy teaching, learning and practice, Te telemedicine, present status, future and prospects. There are a lot of things to discuss. Today, we will discuss about the implementation of information technology in postgraduate education and learning. So, this session may be useful for the teachers and the PG scholars. The traditional method of teaching of medical education means the oral, practical and more passive transferring of knowledge and skill from educators to the students and health professionals. So that is a traditional concept of uh, teaching, oral, practical and more or less a passive transfer of knowledge and skills from teachers to students. So this is a scenario, only few students will get the concept. Now if you are implementing the application of uh, modern IT in homeopathic education, that might have some merits and demerits. So this is the first merit. More smileys, more people, more students will get the concept. Interaction, the first is interaction referred to a student's involvement with the material or the content of a lecture or with the teacher or with the peer group. So interactive learning rather than the traditional methods of teaching. And there are some advantages and disadvantages for the lecturing methods. The advantages are we can transfer, transfer knowledge, stimulate interest, we can explain the concept also, provide core knowledge, that means the nutshell knowledge and the direct student learning. And the major disadvantages are it will not change the attitude of the students. The one way method of lecturing, usually it will not change the attitude of the students, not encourage higher order of thinking. Students will not think beyond the classes and passive learning only, then a little opportunity to process or critically appraise the new knowledge. That is one of the limitation of the one way method of lecture. So the concept, tell me and I forget, show me and I remember, involve me and I understand. The third one that is what we are going to discuss and implement. Tell me I forget, that is the method of lecturing. Show me I remember, that is in the OPD we can show the cases. Involve me and I understand, involving in the case taking process, involving in the laboratories, involving in the clinical discussions and I understand. So this is a situation in nowadays, students are passive learners, they are simply sitting without any emotions, without any expression. The teachers need to struggle a lot. Now, how to overcome this? Our present goals as the postgraduate teachers or postgraduate post uh, scholars, we need efficiency and effectiveness in our teaching. 
continuous improvement empowerment student achievement students needs to achieve something after our classes and we need the students with the global competitiveness world class content in homeopathy or the medical education these are all our present goals through this ict now what is meant by any e learning that means either web based learning learning with the computers virtual classrooms or digital collaborations these are all the main content of e learning that means the content is delivered via internet intranet satellite tv or a portable media now what is meant by an interactive classroom that means the, that classroom allow the student to actively work with the dynamic content rather than passively listening to the teacher the student need to actively work that is usually equipped with the modern hardware and corresponding software interactive panel and a digital pen the camera for documents and multimedia projector and there is there should be a wireless electronic board also so that is one method interactive classroom another one is clicker and this is a small device allow the teachers to interview the students during the course students use it to give an answer to the question after which the computer system calculate the percentage of students who gave correct answers in this way a teacher gains insight into how the students understood the present content the device is called as clicker another one is electronic notebook this interactive and innovative device allow easier development and distribution of the educational material another one independent study program or otherwise called as isp that means the students can progress through the curriculum independently when a student answer the question correctly his score increases and passes on to the next question but if the answer is incorrect student must complete the correct actions before they could try to re answer the questions so that is scenario in an independent study program another concept is distance learning that means planned learning that take place at the remote site of teachers forms of distance learning include individual participation teleconferencing tele seminars web conferencing and electronic classrooms now what is meant by a web based learning that means the use of web technology for presentation and distribution of the educational content use of web technology that providing two way communication over the internet so that students can communicate with the teacher with the teachers and the administration now what is meant by a virtual classroom that means a computer based education where the teacher communicate with the student through video conferencing internet and email one of the world famous one that's a moodle modular object oriented dynamic learning environment that is called as a virtual classroom now this is a scenario nowadays in this digital age of guru purnima thank you for everything i search in uh, google you give me unconditional sea of information now the teacher's soul is uh, teacher's role is uh, is very tough because the students will get more information than that of a teacher through their smartphones or through the internet so in this era of internet or googling the teachers need to struggle a lot to conceive or to get uh, to to con- uh, to clarify the doubts of the students especially in the application level or the practical aspect rather than simple theoretical teaching now we will discuss something about uh, uh, something about our lecture in different methods of lecturing also so our lecturing should not be a boring one remember in the past years we need lot of instruments uh, for a for a music program but now nowadays only a mobile is required to conduct a music program to sing a song and in the earlier days we have only dd news only that is a censored news no visuals but later private companies like asia net and other other cable companies came they published uncensored news with more visuals and more debate so that means we need to upgrade from the conventional method of teaching in this uh, high tech era otherwise uh, it is very difficult to survive as a good teacher now something about the powerpoint presentation what is the need of the powerpoint presentation because that will yield a positive result among the speakers teachers and students 
that will definitely enhance the effectiveness of the classroom lectures and seminars. Definitely the PowerPoint will enhance the effectiveness of the classroom lectures and seminars. But certain things we have to concentrate while preparing a PowerPoint presentation. That means the 8 into 9 rules. That means 8 lines per slide, 9 words in a line. Never copy a paragraph from the textbook or from the internet into the PowerPoint presentation. So, 8 lines per slide, 9 words in a line. Because only this much a brain can absorb at the time while listening to a speaker. So, never copy a paragraph. But always remember that the presenter should be the center of attraction, not the PowerPoint, not the video. The presenter should be the center of attraction in any classroom, even though you are using this type of visual aids. So, you have to make your own contribution while using these slides. Display only the main points, the rest you have to explain. The concept, the practical application, the interpretation that you have to explain. Then only the presenter will be the center of attraction. Otherwise, the, the students will just simply sitting like watching a movie. So, the slides must supplement but not as a substitute. Slides must be supplementing our presentation, not as a substitute. So, one of the major ability of the teacher is the ability to measure a uh, role of a teacher is this ability to retain the interest of the audience. So, that is one of the major capability of a teacher, ability to retain the interest of the audience. So, presenter must be the center of attraction like the South Indian actor Rajini Gams. People always want to see him, see the Rajinikanth, even though this is that cinema has no story, no script. He is usually the center of attraction. Now, what is the difference between a teacher and a professor? For your primary or upper primary or higher secondary classes, you have teachers. But in homeopathy medical colleges or in medical profession, you have professors, assistant professor, associate professor or professor like that. So, what is the major difference between a teacher and a professor? So, there are some major differences. Suppose a teacher in your school, if you want to drink, teacher will show you the, the cooler or the source of water. Then the teacher will give, explain the importance of uh, taking water, importance of, uh, importance of clean water. And if you are not taking water, what will happen, etc, etc. Everything the teacher will explain and the teacher will take water from the, uh, from the cooler and hand over to you. And the teacher will wait until you complete, the, complete your dreams. So that is teaching. But in professional colleges, you have professors only. That means professional teaching means we will give the syllabus and the book. You have to study. But they will give you something beyond the books. The professors in medical colleges, they will give you something beyond the books, the practical aspect or the clinical application of the subjects. So beyond the textbook, beyond the boundaries and beyond the syllabus. So that's the role of a teacher. But you have to study everything. So, postgraduate students are all teachers. You should be like this. You have to give something to the undergraduate students beyond the syllabus, beyond the textbook, in the practical aspect or in the clinical aspect. That means application level teaching. That should be there in the professional colleges. Now, in the importance of videos and images, keep the text to, text to a minimum in all the slides. And the pictures, that is more important. Or the videos are, are, more, are more important than thousands of words and I have a request to the postgraduate scholars, uh, postgraduate scholars suppose if you are presenting a, presenting a seminar that should be supplemented by the cases or the research findings for example if you are going to present something about the dengue fever the scope of homeopathy in dengue fever that should be supplemented by uh, supported by one or two cases of the dengue fever if you have no, if you have your, not your own cases maybe from some other sources like the magazines or from the research, research papers. So that should be supported by a case. All the postgraduate seminars should be supported by the cases and also the research findings. The research findings on the efficacy of the homeopathic preventive medicine dengue fever, dengue, in the management of dengue fever or the effectiveness of homeopathy in the treatment of dengue fever like that. That is available in the internet or in the research journals. So, so all of your, all, all the seminars should be supported by the cases and the research findings. Then see the image. It is very easy to teach in RNA and DNA. RNA is single stranded and the DNA is double stranded. That means the students will get the concept. A picture that is worthful than thousands of words. You got the idea. Your teaching should be like this. And if you are teaching the multiple choice questions, 
this is one of the perfect example which one is right in this case the correct one that is the third one so the mcqs may be like this so the students will get a concept what may be the i mean the appearance of multiple choice questions in competitive examination and this is another example of multiple choice questions more or less similar examples mm -hmm. will get so the students will get a concept now what is the policy behind uh, the presentations say what you are going to say means the rules of presentation that means an introduction say it that means the content say what you said that's the summary so there should be the uh, this, this is an hard and fast rule for the presentation just give an introduction then deliver the content and lastly summarize the main points that means tell them what you are going to tell them then tell them then tell them what you told them summarizing the main points that is essential and also giving an introduction in during our bhms class one teacher came and uh, she immediately started uh, as uh, the, uh, presented the name as silesia and started some uh, presented some symptoms mental symptoms physical signs and particulars as a first bhms student we didn't understand what what is silesia whether it is a medicine or it's a pharmacy class or it's a medicine class or it is a organon class whatever it may be so just to give a brief introduction then deliver the content then summarize the main points suppose if we are teaching the new generation students nowadays uh, majority of the homeopathy students are computer experts new information on medical topics is readily av available by the, uh, via the internet in their smartphone so the complete uh, computer assisted learning cal or the virtual reality blackboard human patient simulators are some of the options that we can use nowadays so majority of the new generation uh, means the students are now computer experts and the distance is not an issue also with the help of the college networks and internet the students as well as the teachers may stay in, in contact even when they are off of the colleges that we are this facility now we are using during the covid period across the country and abroad also now the books and journals everything is available online free access to the medline the various medical journals online textbooks and the latest information on on new development in medicine also encourage the learning and research so it is very easy nowadays to prepare a thesis uh, the basics or the literature to conduct a literature review for a thesis or a dissertation whatever it may be everything is available online and the electronic medical record emr is nowadays compulsory in all the homeopathic medical colleges this technology can convert the medical information into a single database suppose if you want to get a database of the cancer cases or a specific cancer like the cf cancer of the pancreas you just type it as cancer of pancreas in, the, in your college emr you will get the details of the cases already treated or undergoing treatment another concept is simulators nowadays many of the medical institutions across india are using this technology advanced life support acls simulators and the haptics the science of touch simulators that is commonly used in medical education to develop various clinical skills such as ecg interpretation appropriate inter intervention and also the uh, the basic life support uh, teachings but don't forget how our advanced teaching the technology gets it can never replace the interaction between the teachers and students students always love uh, always love the teachers they would they always want to discuss something with their teachers always want to interact with the teachers so it will never replace the technology will never replace interaction between the teacher and the students that occur with the patient and with the clinical judgment judgment which make great great doctors the experience of the doctors and your experience of the teachers that will be shared only through the personal interaction or the direct interaction between the teacher and the medical students now we'll discuss another aspect of the utilization of the technology that's the online consent online consultation and the concept of uh, treating the patients around your clinics clinic only that is outdated now you can become an intercontinental homeopathy practitioner that means you can treat the patients across the globe through a, through this website or this uh, different types of medical applications so you should be an intercontinental practitioner never depend only on the patients around your clinic because there are doctors from different systems or from the same systems of medicine 
So we'll discuss in detail later about the how to become an intercontinental practitioner in homeopathy. The next video. So the homepath Somio, that's one of the best one of the best mobile app available in the market from any from the, that's available from the Indian market itself. That means uh, you can read, repertorize, and prescribe homeopathic remedies on anywhere, any time. And they have a wonderful software also, Homepath Somio. That means that contain more than 109 material medica books, 40 repertories, and 1250 volume of homeopathy books, 8000 cured cases, patient management system with appointment schedule, complete repertory 2020, 16 plus journals with 8700 8, plus articles. That is one software. And the Zomeo Ultimate, that means that means something more than the Zomeo, that contains a lot of clinical tips, keynotes, material medica books, acute expert system of the profile which occur, temporas, uh, then the built-in temporas, element net theory of this, uh, then Seagal's expert, shortened uh, theory, etc., whatever it may be. And including the patient's instruction, 615 patient instruction on for 70 plus disease conditions. So, Zomeo from Homepads. And the second one that is a Radar Opus, one of the world famous homeopathic software from Belgium. And that is a all-in-one interface, comprehensive search is available, 20 plus repertories, 780 plus books and the WinChip is a patient management software and they have the Vidulika's expert system and there are a lot of concept and families, many things including the patient management system and much number of repertories and books and references and journals. Another one is Complete Dynamics of the world famous homeopathic software that is available in, in, in the um, I mean this browser version that is freely downloadable from the website also. Another one is Vidilkas Combux, Vidilkas Combus from the George Vidilkas team and uh, there are a lot of uh, mobile applications like the Kedeker Expert System, Homeo Kust, Akeva, then Vision from England, ISIS Vision, one of the best software that is available in the market. Homeo Pulse, then Similimum Ultra, Shifa. These are some mobile applications. Material Medica Lite, available both in the Android and iOS. Homeopathy Quick References, Theory of Accords by the Profile PJ Acker. So there are a lot of uh, this type of applications and software softwares are available nowadays in homeopathy. So the main utility of this type of software is for the academic purpose. We can read, we can study and the medical practice. We can run our clinic and the patient management system, appointment system, everything is there. And we can utilize this type of software for the research work and also for the dissertation work of postgraduate scholars and PhD, uh, PhD aspirants. Remember, just one case solved using this type of software and mobile applications will recover the entire purchased cost of the software. Remember, just one case solved using this type of software is will recover the entire purchase cost of the software. That means you will get more number of patients through this if you are using this type of software because your prescription will be more precise and accurate. One successful case will give you 100 more. And one advice to the postgraduate students, we must have, the PGs must have enthusiasm to teach, enthusiasm to students and enthusiasm to homeopathy. Then only you will become a successful postgraduate solar. And we have no B.Ed or ML, M.Ed courses. After the B.H.M.S., we are after the postgraduate education, we are directly recruited into the education field without any B.Ed or M.Ed course. But you have to train during your post-graduation. You have to teach your undergraduate students in the clinic, in the theory class and in the IPD. So you must have good enthusiasm to teach, good enthusiasm towards the students and to homeopathy. The more you teach, the better you learn. PGs, please listen. The more you teach, the better you learn. Teaching is a powerful tool for learning. Now just watch this pyramid carefully. Average learning retention rates. If you are giving a lecture or if you are attending a lecture, the retention rate is only 5%. If you are reading, the retention rate is 10%. If you are teaching with the audio visual aids, the retention rate is only 20%. At the end of the session, the audience will get only 20%. Demonstration, that means the demonstration of a case is in the IPD or a demonstration in the laboratory, the retention rate is 30 percentage. Discussion group, the, discussion, the retention rate is 50 percentage. Practice by doing, 
prescribing in the IPD and OPD by doing, taking the case, practice by doing, the retention rate is 75 percentage and if you are teaching others, the retention rate is 90 percentage. So the more you teach, the more you learn. Please try to utilize the opportunity of teaching the undergraduate students in our IPD, OPD and in the theory class. But always remember that it is better not to use the same topic, same notes or same slides throughout their service. Many of the PGs are teaching the undergraduate students throughout their three year of course, the same topics with the same slides, without any additions or without any modifications. And some teachers also, uh, once they entered into the service and uh, on, at the time of retiring also, they, they are teaching the same subject. subject. Suppose one teacher also started their uh, Teaching profession with the cancer repertory, he used to teach the cancer repertory only till the retirement. That is not good. We have to update every year. We have to update the slides. And uh, one thing I would like to remind you that if suppose if you are teaching the software to your students, the radar opus, the home park, or the ICs, complete dynamics, whatever it may be, it is very difficult to teach with the same slides for the next year because the software updating every year. So, hours of preparation, but one hour presentation. If you, have, you, have, if, you are, if you are going to present for one hour, you need more than six hours of preparation. So, never use the same slide, same topic or the uh, same uh, audio visual aid throughout their, your PG, PG courses or through your service. You have to update every year. At least add something, even though if you are, suppose if you are teaching the bogus concept of totality or some teaching something about the bogus celebrity. You have to add something every year. You need to modify your modify your slides. Okay. So the teacher who teaches us something more valuable than our syllabus. That means beyond the thought, beyond the boundaries and beyond the syllabus. That deserve a massive respect. This type of should, teaching should be there in the medical colleges. That means application level teaching. Application level teaching. So the teacher who teaches us something more valuable than our syllabus deserves a massive respect. And if you are teaching your undergraduate students, dear PG scholars, please remember, and dear teachers, please remember, it is the desire of every student that their teacher will give them meaningful learning experience. Meaningful learning experience, not merely theory, but the application level, the practical level, the clinical level that will help them to face the challenges in their life. We are teaching a skill, not simply theory in our curriculum, in, in our colleges. So, it is the desire of every student that the teacher will give them some meaningful learning experience that will help them to face the challenges in their life. So, should be an application level, teaching beyond the syllabus, beyond the boundaries and beyond the thoughts. So these are all the some uh, references used for this uh, professional and colorful wishes to all postgraduate scholars and the new generation teachers. And on our website homiebook.com you will get a lot of materials like this and our Facebook page Homie for the Homie Book. If you are just like this page so that you will get the latest information we are posting every day on this Facebook page and our YouTube channel. If you are subscribing our YouTube YouTube channel free of cost, you will get more videos like this that may be useful for your profession, career, teaching or learning. And keep in touch. My email id is similima at yahoo.com and our website swamibook.com and drmansurali.com And I hope you got some idea about the implementation of the technology in teaching learning in the postgraduate streams of medicine and something about the uh, about the softwares and online consultation so that's all for the time being thank you